Hey everybody, in this video I will quickly introduce the new shaders for CC 3.2 and some additional new features. These new shaders can make your legacy PBR characters look more realistic. However, the shaders alone won't make your characters more lifelike because material settings and lighting also play a major role. Therefore, we have enhanced some features for the materials and lights in order for you to easily produce realistic real-time rendering. First of all, what is subsurface scattering, often written as SSS? It is a kind of light propagation phenomenon which manifests itself as light is scattered after interacting with a medium of a translucent material and exits at various points of the object. Let's take a look at some simple illustrations. Generally speaking, when light hits an object, it tends to bounce back. This response is determined by the roughness and metallic texture channels. One of the effects of the digital human shader is a subsurface scattering effect. Light will penetrate into the surface and then bounce back inside the medium in a complicated manner and then exits the surface. In this example, you can see that the light hits the back of the head and penetrates the ears to form a translucent effect. Another example is the light directed at the side of the head and the head will have a slightly bleached phenomenon. You can adjust the range of the bleaching effect by adjusting the SSS radius attribute. Another important effect for the digital human shader is a micronormal attribute. And by changing the texture map and adjusting its parameters, you can enhance the details of the skin. This time around, we have a total of six new digital human shaders, including the head, skin, eyes, teeth gums, tongue, and hair. We have also added new features to the light, such as light shapes, which can be deployed to enhance the look of bright reflections in the eyes. Of course, you can just apply our newly released content to the scene and immediately enhance the realism of your characters. There is also a one-click solution to quickly convert your PBR characters to the digital human shader system. This will automatically replace the current materials with the corresponding digital human shader equivalents.
Of course, there are several new assets for quickly changing out the look and feel of a character's materials. Lastly, you can go to our official Reillusion website and on the tutorial page, find more and more detailed lessons. You can also browse our online manual for basic information on the digital human shader along with the theory behind subsurface scattering and detailed description of each shader parameter. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned a lot. Make sure to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I hope to see you on the next video.